there's something up. What the f I have a bunch of orders to pack. You can see that we're still in the middle of our renovations. So my space has not been renovated just yet. It is an ongoing process, so hopefully in the coming weeks it will get renovated, but I have to get set up to pack some orders to ship out for Black History Month. This space was supposed to be renovated by now, but an ongoing process we've had a lot of delays so eventually i'm praying to every god out there that this space will finally get renovated in the next month or so but essentially these walls are going to get painted these lights that you see up here will be changed we're going to get pot lights and the walls are just going to be one color because obviously if you need to patch up a wall it's not ideal to have it three-toned um and then right behind me here You've probably noticed in other videos that there's this window here. So we're actually going to knock down this window and open it up so it's going to be a wall. And I don't know if you could actually see, but right behind these mirrors um, is an open space. So when I walked down the stairs, you saw that there's black draping. Essentially, we're going to close up the wall that's uh, behind the black draping. Sorry, we close it up because there is no wall currently. We're going to knock down this window. So this whole open space is then going to be my storage space. So all these boxes that you see here are going to go in there. So it's just going to be a more functional space. This desk I'll be able to make use of. I'll probably move it back there. Um, I'm going to get another one of those shelves because I need more storage space for all my shipping stuff. This treadmill that clearly is not in use is not going to be in here. Um, and it's just going to be, you know, much nicer, more open, cleaner space that's not cluttered like it is right now and it's been like this for months because I want to be able to make more use of the space and also those awful vertical blinds are going to be gone as well. It's just going to be a much nicer space. Uh, so yeah, today you're just going to watch me pack up some orders. I have about six to pack today. earlier, February is Black History Month, which is a really busy time for my company. This is now the fifth Black History Month that I've had my company. Uh, my first book came out in 2018, and my first book is Big Dreamers, a Canadian Black History Activity Book for Kids, Volume 1. You guys have seen me and heard me talk about this many, many times. So when this book came out in October of 2018, the first Black History Month that I was able to actually promote this book, the February of 2019, sales skyrocketed. So things got really, really busy. So as the years went on, so 2020, 2021, and I had more books, I noticed a trend where January and February, you'll see my sales skyrocket. So for most companies, they make the bulk of their sales in retail during, I would say, Black Friday, between Black Friday and Christmas. Although that is somewhat busy for me, hands down, Black History Month is the busiest time of the year for me. So the first quarter of the year, January, February, then there's a bit of trickle over, uh, over in March as well. The orders that are coming in through my website are just through the roof, which is amazing. Um, for my sales agency that I work with, things pick up and get busy for them. I think around November, December is when the retailers are ordering my books to get them stocked right after Christmas. So I guess through the sales agency, the last quarter of the year is busiest for them. But then for me through e-commerce and the sales through my website, it's definitely the first, uh, first couple of months and then the trickle over into the third month of the year. So really happy that, you know, I have, I guess those two periods in the year where I do get those rushes and I do get those online sales. If I compare February 2023 to February 2021 or 2022, I would actually say that it's not as busy this year and that's mainly because I didn't have any books that I was launching or products that I was launching. In previous years, January 2020, Mover Shakers History Makers came out. So I noticed that February 2020 uh, sales, you know, really spiked. Then 
February 2021, 2022, we're still busy uh, with this book and then uh, volume two of Big Dreamers. But then I feel like after about two years of trying to like promote the same book, it's not that it gets stale, but people are hungry for more. So I am currently working on Big Dreamers volume three. It's not ready just yet. It will be coming out in the fall. So I really think that in February 2024, when I have three volumes of Big Dreamers, I'm going to see a huge increase in sales. So although it has been a busy month, it hasn't been as busy as other, you know, previous Black History Months just because I didn't have any new products coming out. The plush dolls, though, have been really, really uh, selling this Black History Month because I've been able to do a lot of media interviews. So when I promote them and show them in the interviews, I've noticed that a lot of eyes come to my website and then orders do, you know, come from that. There's something up. Something is happening to my printer, I don't know what. I just tried to print one label. It printed this at the top. Two blank labels came out. The label itself then came out. Then three and a half labels just decided to release. So now I basically just wasted three labels. I don't know if anyone else has the Dymo label printer for XL, but for the past couple of days, my printer's been acting crazy. I don't know what is wrong with it, I'm hoping I can salvage these labels because otherwise that's, well, this one obviously not, but these two I'm hoping that I can use afterwards because I'm not sure what's happening. If someone knows, please leave a comment because th this is frustrating. I'm going to just roll this back in, but I don't know what's happening. That was really helpful. It's such a waste. I've got like a good 20 labels that I can't use. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god, it literally just fed it all the... So these are completely wasted now. Okay, so I'm going to try this new roll and hopefully that will solve the problem. Okay, I guess it was just something. So I have to get my printer sorted. I don't know what's wrong with it. I changed the roll. It still seems to be releasing additional blank labels. So I'm gonna figure this out, probably call the company and see what the issue is. And no. Is that them? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna sort this out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the orders. Thank you for all the messages. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.